Imagine a transportation fuel that helps reduce carbon emissions, comes from a renewable and abundant source, and is 100% compatible with existing infrastructure. Advanced Hardwood Biofuels Northwest aims to establish a sustainable biofuel system throughout the Pacific Northwest. To ensure the sustainability of the system, researchers use a life cycle assessment, a cradle-to-grave appraisal tool that models environmental impacts over the entire life of a product. An LCA provides data on resource consumption and emissions at every stage and identifies areas where impacts can be reduced. The LCA for the production of jet fuel from poplar trees shows where greenhouse gases, expressed as carbon dioxide equivalents, are stored and emitted during the life cycle of the biofuel. To begin, the LCA boundary is defined, since it must encompass all necessary processes and products. This includes feedstock production, conversion and refining of the fuel, as well as distribution and end use. As poplar trees grow, they remove a significant amount of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, storing carbon in their stems, branches, and roots. The process continues even after harvesting of the trees as they re-sprout from cut stems. Harvesting and transporting the feedstock requires fossil fuel energy inputs, resulting in some carbon dioxide emissions and the process of converting the poplar feedstock into biofuels produces carbon emissions. This includes emissions from refining, producing, and transporting chemicals and disposing of waste. Conversion also requires additional energy inputs from fossil fuels such as natural gas for heat and steam in the biorefinery. The LCA identifies this as a large contributor of greenhouse gas emissions that can be significantly reduced by burning residual biomass instead of natural gas. Finally, the distribution of biojet fuels around the Pacific Northwest and their use by the aviation industry also adds to the fuel's net carbon emissions. Results from this LCA model show that the production and use of poplar jet fuel could reduce carbon dioxide emissions by half compared to current fossil jet fuel, and conversion technology improvements can lead to further reduction. These results show great promise for reducing greenhouse gas emissions and building a sustainable biofuels industry throughout the Pacific Northwest. <music>